find the limit solution. So when you're taking limits, you should always at least mentally take these numbers, this number here, and put it where all the x's are. So if you do that, you end up with 0 over 0 in this problem, right? Because you get 5 minus 0, which is 0, and then 5 squared is 25, so 25 minus 25 is 0, so it's undefined. So what you want to do then is rewrite this so that you can plug in 5. So we have limit as x approaches 5. It's really important to always write the limit sign until you rewrite things. 5 minus x. And then on the bottom, it's the difference of squares. It's x minus 5 times x plus 5. These are almost the same. Up top we have 5 minus x. On the bottom we have x minus 5. The trick to get this to work is to pull out a negative 1 from the numerator. So watch this. Negative 1 times, and then it's going to be x minus 5. And you can check your work. Negative 1 times x is negative x, which is right here. And then negative 1 times negative 5 is a positive 5, so it does check. On the bottom, we still have x minus 5, x plus 5. The x minus 5s cancel, so we end up with the limit as x approaches 5. So we have negative 1 over x plus 5. And now we're finally at a point where we can actually take this number and plug it in. So now you drop the limit sign, and you take this, and you put it where the x is. So it's negative 1 over 5 plus 5. So it's negative 1 over 10. And that is the limit. Hope that made sense.